Hey guys, Urban Bushcrafter here, and welcome to another video. Uh, today I am going to go through five uh, bushcraft essentials. Of course, it's just my opinion, it's what I think is uh, essential, so let's get into it. So, to start, um, I think we can all agree, one of the main bushcraft essentials is a knife. Um, you kind of need a knife for most bushcraft tasks. Um, pretty much anything, right? So I got two examples here. Uh, so we got right here, M-Tech Bowie style blade. Talked about this a lot, love this thing. $15, can't go wrong. Um, great for chopping, not so much fine work, but I uh, love this thing. And then another example I have is my Mora knife. Uh, this one has a ferro rod in the bottom, but and so this one's more pricey, I think around $30, but just for the standard one, the standard one is, standard one's about 15 to 20. Uh, completely worth it. This one, you less for chopping uh, and more for, more for carving type tasks. Okay, coming up at number two, we got a saw. Um, so, I didn't put an axe on this list because I've gotten by without an axe. Axes are definitely helpful if you want to do a lot of bigger stuff, if you want to cut down trees, that would uh, But for just for the average person who wants to go around, maybe go make a base camp somewhere, an axe is very helpful, but you don't need it. And so, uh, I got saws. So, right here we got a folding saw. Like I said, we got a folding saw. Uh, this cost me about $10. I've had it for a couple years. Works perfectly. Uh, folds down in pretty small. Um, pretty small. And this this thing can chop through most medium-sized-ish wood. Um, it's definitely not the best thing for building larger stuff or cutting larger things, but it will get you by for smaller things. Um, and then other suggestion I got this so this is a big bow saw not like ginormous but it's pretty big um, and I, I take this out um, like to my bushcraft camp I'll take this so I can cut down large logs I like this one a lot better than the folding saw um, I definitely can't take it like on a day hike or anything where I might want to cut down some smaller wood I wouldn't take this because it's too big and I would take a folding one but for day camps or things that I want to chop if I want to cut up larger wood, I'm going to take this, um, and I love this. Okay, coming in at number three, um, I got a ferro rod. Um, this is, it's sort of essential. So my thing is, I love starting a fire with a ferro rod. I think it's a good skill to have. Um, and if nothing else, it's great to have another way of starting a fire besides lighters or matches. Um, so we got this. This is my recommendation for starting out. It's uh, the Bear Grylls uh, brand with that Gerber did. Um, and I love this thing. This thing, I've had it for quite a few years and it's awesome. So twist it. Let's see. Didn't want to come out. Twist it, right? And as you can see, I've used a, quite a bit of it, and then you get both the striker and a ferro rod. And as you can see, it's really windy out here. Um, so you got that. And then, besides that also on here, you got a whistle. Uh, and then if you go down here, open this up, Let's see if I can get that open. Ah, there we go. See? And so this is actually the original tinder that came with this. But you could put anything you wanted in here. And then you always have some tinder with you available. So coming at, in at number four, I got a uh, light. Uh, so headlamps uh, is my recommendation. The handheld flashlights, you can do that. But handheld flashlights are not very good, of course, when you want to do things with your hands. Because then you only have one hand to work with. So I got headlamps, and I have two suggestions. So right here we got this, uh, I think, black diamond. Yep, black diamond headlamp. This cost around $20 when I got it. 
Um, I've had it for a couple years, worked perfectly. Now this, uh, it doesn't hold in the position. It used to have a couple of positions I was staying, now it just falls down. Uh, so I don't use this one anymore. But this thing worked great for a couple years. Um, I recommend it. Black Time is a good brand. Um, but if you want to invest more uh, and you want something that's rechargeable, um, waterproof, and whatnot, I got this. This is the Coast one. Uh, it is rechargeable um, by that. And then also, if you unscrew, let's see. I just. One sec. It's the wrong side. If you unscrew this side, it exposes, um, let's see, a USB, oh, uh, right there. Um, I love this thing, it has a couple modes, it can, uh, you can focus this, um, and it's great. So I recommend a headlamp, um, and I do recommend investing in one that's going to last you for a while. And then you buy, pay more money up front, and then you won't have to pay more money later. Coming in at number five, I got backpacks. Of course, you need something that you're going to carry all of your gear in. Um, and so you'll need a backpack. Um, so I'll show you two suggestions, as like I have for the rest of the video. So here I got this. Um, this is not so much of a recommendation as just something to show. So this was one the, the bag I used uh, when I was a lot younger. Um, it works, right? Um, but I don't recommend it. So here's a couple things. Um, not very durable over the years. It has holes in the bottom of it now. Um, very small. And then lastly, it doesn't have a ton of different compartments and space. Uh, which is something I definitely recommend looking for. Is different small compartments where you can easily put things to keep your gear organized. And then like a big dump pouch, right? So you can just dump a bunch of stuff in and then you can also have it organized. So while this could work, I don't recommend something like this. Um, but if this is all you have, use it. Um, I do recommend something more like this. So this is my iDry bag, I've seen it a lot, so I always use. Uh, and this thing, this thing, um, this thing works perfectly. Uh, it's got a big dump pouch in it. This one's waterproof, but you don't need a waterproof backpack. Um, and then it also has some spots for organization. So I love this thing. So guys, those are what I think are five bushcraft essentials. Um, if you disagree with me, if you agree with me, leave it down in the comments below, like, subscribe, all those things. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe up there, Urban Bushcrafter out.